Well, I just listened back to uh, one of the episodes that just recently came out. I think it was There Will Be Blood. Yeah. And uh, we finally have stopped doing trivia in the podcast. Oh, is that <laughs> is that where we did do trivia on that one though, didn't we? Um, I think it, that I think the one before that was the last one we did trivia on. Ah, okay. I I I was watching the uh, the video that you made for the milkshake one. Yeah, I dig it. I like how it kind of worked with the the clip. Yeah, you uh, you give a a really good performance of Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, I thought so. I like. Oh. I'm not even sure that I I left your audio in. It might have been his. I don't remember. Yeah, they're pretty interchangeable. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we uh, we just hit 81 subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty cool. If you have not checked out our YouTube channel, um, we do it right now. <laughs> we post our podcasts up there, but we also try to uh, post little short videos, either giving more context to what we were talking about or just cutting them up to hopefully be funny. I don't know. I think they're funny. They can kind of give you a preview of. What we talk about, yeah, but uh, how without the visuals? <laughs> With the visuals, what? <laughs> Wait, what? It's like here, watch this clip. This is kind of what we do, but there's also no visuals. So oh, you yeah. just have to hear us talk. You you have to imagine the visuals. Exactly, it's but, open for interpretation. <laughs> but uh, we've said it a couple of times. We record our episodes pretty far in advance. We're about two months ahead of what's actually coming out. So I we just released Black Mirror season four with Nitpicks Sam from Nitpicks, but me uh-huh. me and you had actually recorded uh, Black Mirror season four about three days after the season came out. Yes, and so that will come out in about a month and a half. So it's gonna be it. And normally it works out okay. Normally it doesn't really matter, but sometimes you get these weird timeline things where it it. We'll talk about something, and then we've already talked about it before, whatever. So. Right. Deal with it, people. Yeah, get over it. Stop whining. We're tired of it. Um, one I'm thing. Tired of, I'm tired of, honestly, I'm tired of the death threats. Yeah, those are getting pretty aggressive. And especially because they're always directed at you, but they send it to me like I care. <laughs> well, I keep getting pictures of you from someone sitting in your bushes looking through your window. Oh, okay. So that's a fan. Yeah, okay. I think so. He keeps asking for okay. signatures. He wants me to sign them. <laughs> Will you sign this? <laughs> um, I, I wanted to... So one of the episodes, the reason why I brought up the way we do it is the latest episode that we recorded is The Punisher, the movie. Yes. While we did that, you were halfway through The Punisher, the series. Yes, also true. Have you finished The Punisher, the series? We finished it last night. All right. So I wanted to talk about that on this since we okay. mostly talked about it on that episode. We don't need to do a full episode on the series. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. What did you think um, about... Do, do you think I built up that last... It's in the well, second to last episode... Oh, the second to last episode. Yeah, it's the okay, guy. But- so the most violent scene that I had been talking about that I, I feel uh-huh. like I unfairly set up uh, was with the guy whose eye got knocked out. That was the one I was talking about. Oh, that was what you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was... The okay, glass so face? I thought that, after seeing it, I thought that's what you are talking about. Yeah. But... I thought I remember you would saying something about episode 11. And so then I thought you were talking about when that team came to the warehouse and he just like systematically took them all apart. Oh yeah. And he like took, he took that dude's head off <laughs> to start. So I was like, Oh, I was like, okay, so this is what he was talking about. Yeah. But then, and then I was like, okay. And then they got to the last episode and I was like, Oh wait, was it that what he was talking about? <laughs> I didn't even think about the one that you were actually talking about. Yeah. So the, the the what you were saying about him taking out all the guys that was pretty run of the mill action scene. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I thought. I was like, I mean, this uh, violent, yeah, but it didn't seem like it was like 
questionable. Yeah. Besides, like I said, he I, he took that dude's head off, but other than that, it it was standard Punisher stuff. Yeah. And then um, the the when he so he the the biggest bad guy he has who ended up being the reason why his family's dead. He fights him on a Karis wheel and shatters his on a, uh, a what a what was that a Karis wheel. I <laughs> am I saying that wrong? A Karis wheel. A car. <laughs> That's what it's called. A carousel. Is that what it is? It's a carousel, not a Karis wheel. My whole life, I definitely thought it was a Karis wheel. Wait, so you're saying Karis wheel on purpose? A hundred percent. How do you think that's spelled? <laughs> Not that you're, you would even be able to spell it correctly. The anyway. last half is W H E E L. Oh no! <laughs> it's a carousel. <laughs> How? Wait! Uh, this can't be real. <laughs> oh man! Uh, yeah. Ferris wheel. <laughs> you, you're like combining carousel and Ferris wheel. <laughs> <coughs> oh man that i'm glad that I thought was you were recorded. just accidentally saying it wrong nope. but that definitely was thought it was a carousel <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good carousel <laughs> um, oh i feel dumb now uh i should have just not what, said anything a merry and then waited until like you were like running for president and you're like <laughs> hold on though listen to this from years ago the whole world would have turned on you. Uh, there's definitely a lot more, a lot of other things that I've said that uh, will be way worse than Karis will. No, but this is the funniest. <laughs> um, Karis will. Wait, were you just... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, how often does that word come up in your daily life? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not often, but... So it's not inconceivable I, that I heard it as a kid. Oh no, and, it's and it no, became it's inconceivable. <laughs> it got stuck in my head and uh, just never got corrected. Corrected. That that rem- okay. So that real quick story. When I worked at Albertsons, uh, we had these things called U boats. I don't know if you used those when you worked at Bonds. We didn't it's call like anything a, a U boat, but it was like a cart that had two sides that you could like load up boxes on. It was kind of this rickety like, thing, but like a pallet crate type thing. Uh, kind of, but it was it was like a th- it was thin. It was maybe only like a foot wide, and then mm. maybe like five feet long. Uh-huh. And then it had these sides that you could put on and off, but you could cart stuff around. Uh, we, it's called the U boat. Sure, or that's the term. I don't know how, but my boss and I I didn't realize that, but she thought they were called gazubos. <laughs> And she got mad at me <laughs> because <laughs> I, I guess I don't know if I'd never heard her say it or never even paid attention. But what she's like, hey, will you go in the back and get the uh, the gazubo of food? It's like <laughs> the what? It's so, like the gazubo. <laughs> I was like, uh, I I legit really have no idea what you're talking about. And she's like, you know the the cart thing. I was like, oh, the U boat. She's like, oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> And I was like, yeah. So then I'm like laughing and kind of like making fun of her. <laughs> yeah. That she was calling it Gazubo and she just got really mad at me and stopped talking. <laughs> so I took a risk here and uh, it paid off. <laughs> well, so Karis the Punisher was fighting his ultimate bad guy on the Karis will and yes. smashed his face into a mirror and then scraped his face against the broken just glass. Scraped it down. And that that didn't really bother me, but it was the scene where, so while he was being tortured by the guy, he gets out and beats that guy to death. That was oh, yeah. a scene that felt so violent. And a lot really? of it, yeah, I don't know exactly what it was. Part of it, I think, had to do with him punching the guy's head in. Well, I mean, he punched his right. skull into dust, basically. But, Pretty much. And then he gouges his eyes. And gouges his eyes out. But he... Um, there was something about the head not moving, right? Being stuck on the on the concrete mm. and him just hitting it and the sound combined with just the way it was happening. Like, normally in movies, you punch and the guy's head flings to the side or whatever. 
but his right. head just stuck there. And so you knew it was like, there's just so much, just so much the, power. The back of his head was like flattened. Yeah. So it was just sitting on the concrete. <laughs> and that to me, well, like watching that, because it was a slow burn too. There wasn't, oh, yeah. there wasn't a lot of uh, action or violence coming up into that scene. And so when that happened, I was like, wow, that was really violent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess the more I think about it, but at, I guess at the time it didn't stand out any more than like the the first scene with the sledgehammer in the in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty violent. But that that's what I was expecting the whole season to be. So yeah, and so then was it, I. It, it stopped. Kind of toned down a little bit, <laughs> it, it which really I was toned fine down. with that. Yeah. But um, uh, overall, what did you think of the series? I liked it. I'm into it. It's uh, I, in, I think it's in between Daredevil one and two for me. It's Daredevil one, oh, Punisher, okay. Daredevil two. Uh, I'd say this is my favorite. And then Daredevil two, then Daredevil one. Oh really? Daredevil one. I, was, I, I just love the Punisher. Yeah, Daredevil one is just so. I I just love that season. It's good. It's it, I, yeah. It, I mean, it's good altogether. Yeah. Um, I just hope that they don't try to do too much like crossing over with the other series. If they want to bring Daredevil into the Punisher, that's fine. But keep everybody else out. I don't yeah. want the like the superpower <laughs> superpowers involved. You know, yeah. The Punisher is great because it's all realistic. Like yeah. this is all very possible stuff. You don't need Iron Fist and the Punisher working together. Oh no! At least not the uh, Netflix version of Iron Fist. I haven't read any of the comics, so maybe, maybe Iron Fist is a better character than they portrayed. But the Netflix I version of it, or else he would have been in the Avengers. That's probably true. Um. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I I, I am interested to see where they take it from there, because it, it it can stand alone on its own. I I have a hard time. Like I, I just really enjoyed the this season of the Punisher. I love the idea of him working together with this guy that he didn't like, him flirting with that guy's wife while that guy had a watch, even though he didn't have any yeah. intentions. Like there's just so many layers to each of these things that it was just really interesting to me, like really compelling. Right. I don't think season two is gonna be able to match that. I'd have a hard time I'd have a hard time if they so the things that I found interesting in this season, mm-hmm. if they did again, would be terrible, right? Like it would. Well, you couldn't yeah. just copy what was good about this season because it was it, it felt so different. Um, but then when you cut that stuff out, it's just kind of a basic action story, and like they they weren't great at action, like the. The military, when they, he was in the army, that episode, that yeah, something about the way they filmed that, I think it was the lighting. But if you go back and watch that, it looks so unnatural. And like, I, I, I don't know. There's something about either the camera or the lighting. It, did it reminded not, me of a Saw movie. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it felt cheap. Like, it, it, it didn't feel... Right. You know what I mean? It didn't feel... It didn't feel uh, authentic at all like it just felt i don't know i'm like i'm grasping for a word and i can't find it it just it, it didn't feel real unreal yeah it just like when i watched it i felt like i was looking at a movie set and that's a problem oh that's a real problem for Alan. <laughs> he does not like movies as we've discussed so how dare you make a tv show that is similar to a movie <laughs> What would you? How would you feel if if they did another season? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure they are doing another season, and they definitely left open uh, Billy Russo coming back as Jigsaw. Yeah, that's but, what his name is, right? Jigsaw. Right. So yeah, uh, so I I you know I I have a little famili- familiarity familiarity mm-hmm. with the Punisher in his universe, so I knew that this dude was going to be bad the whole time. So it wasn't like, yeah. well, that was, it, I but mean, I, 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 I kept, don't really, 
I don't really follow the comics. And I knew for, as soon as he came right. on, what was the name of his company? The name of his company was like, oh, that's that's a bad company. Anvil. Anvil. Yeah. I was like, no, oh, that's that's clearly not someone who's got good motivation. Yeah, right. Um, so I knew that, and that was fine. I, I didn't need that to be a, sh- a shock or anything. Yeah. Um, and I knew something was going to happen to his face, and I kept waiting for it. And waiting, and then I, and then I, I kind of got to the point where I'm like, well, maybe they're not gonna do, they're not gonna go that route, uh, but then they definitely went that route. <laughs> so we'll we'll see. I I am intrigued to see what he even looks like in the second season. But what I was gonna say is, how would you feel if they didn't necessarily do a big season long arc? I mean, they could have the jigsaw as the season long, but what if they did more? shorter arc like almost like uh like dexter style right where he's just going after bad people and it doesn't last more than one or two episodes at a time yeah i think that would be great i think i think if they just did hour-long movies for all the the properties just like every month where you have like this month is daredevil next month is punisher and it it slowly is building and working together and like comics almost, you know, where you have these stories that are connected. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's that it's a, it's a, not like a super formed idea that I just said, but I I think they, they have the, the thing about Netflix is they can do whatever they want and And they have the budget for it. And they, yeah, they have the budget. So, but they're not doing anything with the format. Like they're not, they're not doing anything interesting with the format. They, it's cool that they release everything all at once. So you can watch it all and all that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Like you could, you you have five characters right now. You have daredevil, Luke cage, iron fist, Jessica Jones, and uh, the puncher. Mm -hmm. If you did, every five months an hour and a half long you know movie of one character and you just staggered them out and you've like you could really make some cool stuff where you have stuff coming out consistently and then towards the end of the year focus on like a big defenders type thing or you know what i mean like you could i don't know yeah i know yeah I, i know what you're saying i think you could just really do something interesting with it all but they're not like at this point, no, they've already <laughs> sealed their fate. Yeah, like the, with how they're gonna do it. The Punisher was pretty good, but it still had a lot of issues. Um. Yeah, but I I, I think they are uh, overlookable for me at least. I don't know if that's the right word, but well, the thing about, the thing that, the thing ahead. about the Punisher that works is that it's grounded in reality. Right, like yes. the you don't have to buy any extra concepts. He's not invincible. He's not, you know, he doesn't have a glowing fist. He doesn't have super strength. So all that stuff you don't have to establish or buy. You just you're like okay, he's just a guy who starts grunting like a dog when he gets angry. I got yeah. it. He's just a super soldier. Yeah, and uh, so it's a there's a lot less. Uh, You need a lot less runway to get that off the ground. But with the other shows, you have to, you have to make this idea of this guy who can make his fist glow and then punch through everything make sense. And it's just really hard to do. I, I just, I don't care for Iron Fist whatsoever. No, he's. I don't like him. I don't like his backstory. I don't like his front story. Well, I don't know. It's all <laughs> stupid to me. I don't like your front story, sir. Yeah, that's what I I get that a lot. But it uh, just it it's uh, it's so dumb. I didn't like it. And that's that's the other thing. Uh, Daredevil one, I like the best. I know you like Daredevil two better, but it's it's pretty similar. Daredevil two. I, Daredevil two is much more. Uh, mystical, but Daredevil one and Punisher are very realistic. It, uh, you know what I mean? Like, right? The world uh, is very much our world, 
just with these people who can do these things. Because it's because the villains are very real people. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Kingpin in the first season. Kingpin is f- fantastic. Probably my favorite Marvel villain out of all of them. Like Really? Like, who who do you think is better in, in the movies and in the TV shows? Maybe Kilgrave, um, okay, but that actor is just great. Kilgrave right. is a guy from Jessica um, Jones. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Um, favorite vi- Well, I mean, you know I love Doc Hawk. <laughs> but, but for different reasons, not because he's great. Oh, I man. just like that movie. You make oh, me so man. upset. If you are so lucky, we're on opposite sides of the world. Because if we were in the same room, I would have slapped you in the face. Uh, if I had to pick any villain from any Marvel, who man, I don't know. Maybe Magneto would be up there. Um, but uh, yeah. but on I'm trying to run my head through all of them. Yeah, what what do you mean on screen? Well, I, I think Magneto is a difficult one because there's also all of the backstory. You know, you have all the just all the stories and everything combined. Like, um, what's his name? Ian Ian McKellen. McKellen. He does a great job, but I don't think he did a better job than Kingpin. I don't think he did a better job than uh, Vincent D'Onofrio in the first season. Hmm. Let me think. Like he was, he was crazy and so, like you just he, he was so layered. You didn't know what he was gonna do. There's, mm-hmm. you know, he's so quiet and reserved, and then he just smashed that guy's head in with a car door. Like he, he just had this huge range of. Pretty sure he took that guy's head off with the car door. Yeah. But I, I, what I mean, he just had this like zero to sixty, like he, his range of emotion and just everywhere they took that character. I don't know. I just yeah. thought it was so so interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm struggling to even think of. I'm so trying to run through like all these villains. You got the uh, Ironmonger from Iron right. Man. You have uh, the Abomination from Hulk. You have. Mm. Uh, what's the guy from Iron Man Two? The so you got Mickey yeah, Rourke, you got Whiplash, Whiplash, and you got the Mandarin, the Mandarin, yeah. Red Skull. I like Red Skull, but I, he's not very layered. No. Um, um, who was in Captain Two? The Winter Soldier, sort Bucky. of. Bucky. Yeah. Um. Uh, Loki. Like that. See, this is another problem. Is I can't even remember <laughs> half of the villains uh the vulture i was gonna say vulture stands out to me Vul- yeah um, as a good villain but michael keaton i think michael keaton as the dad was yeah. much more compelling than michael keaton as the vulture do you know what i'm saying like uh, yeah knowing yeah. knowing that he was evil and being her dad that he that spider-man was trying to date that's where it was like oh wow this is you know that he that's where it shined the yeah. the vulture was kind of it was pretty weak like i know obviously it's the same character and all that but they i think it feels very divided between those two things right like if you didn't have the dad part the vulture would have been a terrible villain you think so i think so yeah i think that's what made it compelling Well, then I'm going to revert back to if I had to pick somebody else, I would just stay with Magneto. Yeah. But I still. As as the closest option. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, Punisher was but, p- pretty good overall. I definitely think it's worth watching. Um, well, I think even that was a good villain. Um, Jigsaw was. I thought he did a good job. He. Um,. He didn't really ever feel like the villain for the Punisher in the season. Well, because he wasn't officially the villain till like the last three episodes. Yeah, that's what I mean. 
Like, he was, a, he did, because it was the guy, I can't even remember his name, the guy who got his eye knocked out, who was just annoying. Uh, Rollins. Rollins. Yeah. He was just annoying more than anything else. More than sinister, more than evil, he was annoying. He was just this dirtbag who only cared about furthering his career more than the lives yep. of other people. And uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I like I like The Punisher uh, this season. I think it's good. I think it's worth watching, especially oh, if you've sure. seen the other ones. Uh, you can skip Iron Fist. You could probably even skip The Defenders. You can skip The Defenders for sure. Uh, it's not very good, but there might be some storylines that go into the next couple seasons. Uh, so it, it, Iron Fist, you definitely can skip. I think that's pretty safe to say. Uh, I think the defenders seemed pretty self-contained inside uh, that season. Potentially. I mean, it depends on what they do oh, next. Okay, we'll say hopefully. And <laughs> I don't know that I've heard anything about them making additional defenders. Well, Disney is starting their own streaming service. So I think the intention is to get all those characters back from Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah. Boo. Hmm. Well, they can have the defenders. <laughs> um, but I just can't imagine. I can't imagine Disney like having a Disney subscription and seeing right. the Punisher on that. Yeah, that's worrisome. But I mean, he's technically already under the Disney label, so yes. But I mean, the the season. I can't imagine them making producing the season that the Punisher was and putting oh, it yeah. on their subscription service. Probably not. Yeah, but but yeah, I don't know. I think it's worth checking out. I think especially you need to watch the uh, Daredevil one, Daredevil two, and. Yeah. At, then the Punisher. That's, really, that's pretty that's really much all. all you need to watch. Yeah, uh, Jessica Jones is decent, and Luke Cage people like. I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, I didn't mind it. Iron Fist. You can boil it down to about five minutes. You could go watch a YouTube video on the story of Iron Fist, the Netflix story, and be good. You don't. You don't need to watch all whatever it is thirteen no, episodes. Look, you don't need to watch any of it. I'll boil it down for you right now. He's a boy. His family crashes. He's taken in by monks. They teach him things Plane that crashes. he has no right knowing. Yeah, what did I say? You just said they crash. His family crashes. They die. He's taken in by monks who teach him the the whatever. It's not that compelling. Chi. He's not a good person. He doesn't do his only job that he's supposed to do. Protect. He goes Come to on. New York. Yeah, he goes to New York uh, for some reason that I don't even remember. He defeated a dragon. Before all this, yes, yeah, supposedly. <laughs> well, and then, uh, because of him not, you don't ever see the, the dragon. place that he's supposed to. He, uh, it is lost or whatever happens. Yeah. So he and, defeats. And then that's it. He defeats a dragon, becomes the immortal Iron Fist. Because of that, he's supposed to protect Kunlung, which is this mystical city of monks. Doesn't do that. Goes to America. Uh, selfishly basically i think was the, the the explanation he it's like he wants to be back in like the company that his dad owned but he like doesn't want to really be a part of it and it's dumb it's uh, not very good it's it, it's not good at all but punisher and it, and his friends are terrible yeah they're all dumb punisher Ugh. is is solid it's a solid b i think Uh, I give it an A. It's not. It's not exceptional. It's not. It's not great. But it has moments and it has ideas and concepts that it plays with that I think are really yeah. interesting. So, yeah. So we'll see what they do for the next season. Like I was saying, if if we get a bunch of smaller arcs with different, they don't have to be villains. They could just be bad guys who are escaping the law. Then I'll be happy with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be some grand scheme. Yeah, I, yeah. I just, I would love for them 
to do something different than what they're doing. Like, it's cool that they release all of them, but I think they could do so much better. But I don't know. That's, it's kind of. Well, I mean, they have their model and it's worked so far. So, but it's getting Nothing's worse. Really gonna... It's consistently getting worse until the Punisher. I just mean Netflix does with their original content. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But even Hopefully that, it, it, even Netflix originals are getting worse, which is something we're about to talk about, which won't come out for a few weeks. But the next thing oh, we're going to talk about is Bright. Yeah. Which, uh, not good. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but before we end this episode, our current standings for the Patreon for this month is 33-33. And Woo-hoo! That means I am technically losing because I have the disadvantage. Um, At the end of this month, whoever is losing, whoever has lost, has to answer trivia questions on a live stream. You get the answer wrong, you have to eat uh, either the Birdies Bots, the Harry Potter Jelly Beans, or the Bean Boozled. So you have a 50-50 chance of eating a good or a bad jelly bean, basically. Yeah. And uh, so some of the flavors are like booger and vomit and just nasty, nasty stuff. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> I've, <laughs> this one is not as concerning as the Carolina Reaper to me, but I'm also right. like. Not looking forward to it. Like I'm not, I'm not as scared as a Carolina Reaper, but the idea of eating vomit flavored jelly beans multiple times yeah. makes me so anxious. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I've had one and it was like stinky sock or something like that. (laughs) And I almost threw up. It was bad. I had one of my students, we, uh, we bought him one time for a game here and he Uh took a handful and put about 20 jelly beans into his mouth (laughs) and he ran out and had to spit it all out and was gagging. That's awful. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that will happen at the end of this month, uh, beginning of sometime in February, we'll live stream it. We'll tweet out when we're about to do it and follow us on Facebook. You can, it'll come up on there too. But, uh, yeah. So if you want to help us out, help decide who should have to do that, which I would say Taylor, uh, I don't know. (laughs) Taylor was pretty entertaining to watch eat the chili pepper. So that I think he's the perfect one to have to do this challenge. I, 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 no. (laughs) <laughs> um but uh you can go and uh you should check out boss play who is one of our sponsors they are a escape room in oceanside california and they help Correct. us out a ton with doing the show oh, yeah really appreciate them definitely worth checking out boss play dun, dun, dun. 